Okay, so, Studio 3, I'm Merc. As you can tell, this ain't gonna be fun. Perhaps you've Dark seen Souls 2. Maybe in a dream. A right, opening cutscene. Well, this is cracking off. Think of a few ground rules. Um. Yeah. If you're wondering why this is quiet, it's because I'm in a house where people are in bed. So, late night project. A place where souls um, mend your ailing. Yeah, ground rules. First episode. Obviously, you'll be able to tell it's been mashed together. You will lose everything. It's because I've played this a little bit on another file. The I don't know what's coming. So, I found what I'll refer to as a starter kit. This episode's mainly going to be running around getting that starter kit. But hopefully, you'll bear with me. You'll find out where to get good things. None will have meaning, and you will. Graphics are decent. By then. You'll be something other than human. Um, a thing that feeds on. Souls, yeah, this cut seems long. Right. So, this episode pretty much how to long start a kit. Ago, in a walled off land far to the north. Another rule. This game will require kingdom, some grinding. I believe they called it. And by some, I mean, I'll probably need to do a lot. Perhaps you're familiar. That will probably be off camera. So to compensate for that, but one day, only allowed to grind on stuff gate, I've already killed in an episode. Why. <coughs> <coughs> do well! So the creepy old lady is basically saying, Yeah, you've got a curse. And then boat. Fucking hell, Steve was right. There is absolutely nothing to say when you're on your own. <laughs> well, yeah, this is Studio 3's first official video. Talk about Starcraft. Blah, 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 blah. I can't get my words out. Yeah, Studio 3's first official video. Dark Souls 2. Brilliant. That looked happy. So for all intents and purposes, man's got a curse. Man wants to find out how to break curse. Hole appears in water made of ghosts. So fuck it. Swan dive! In a minute. Wait for it. Get on with it! And swan dive. Whee! So that's your opening. Man already done got himself screwed. That doesn't look very wet. Wow, the graphics downgrade a lot when it's not an FMV. Crack. And the first gameplay part. So. Uh, 
Uh, this area is practically tutorial land and this video is also a little bit of tutorial land because there's an item exploration is like a massive thing in these types of games I say these types of games like I'm a fucking expert this is the first one I've played properly I had to go on Dark Souls 1 didn't fucking end well Hidden path in the bushes. And they look like they belong to something friendly. Ah, thing. Fuck the thing, get the item. Fuck, that's a lot of damage. As you can tell. Enemies take no shit. No, there's not an item there. You're an idiot. Although there's one. Small and silky stones. There's um... Can't remember if I show you in the video, so I'm gonna tell you. There is a nest in the tutorial area. You basically get those stones and you stand in the nest you go into inventory and it's really fucking important that you press leave. Do not use it, you leave it. And that puts it on the ground and basically swaps it for a random treasure. Some of which are shit, some of which are actually like really fucking good, so something to be aware of. And now the old ladies are mocking me. Bitches. Quite you. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollow she is a creepy old bitch. Them. Feast upon their souls. This Random is pint of the cursed. <laughs> Flapping of the king. Fuck, I don't know what to say in this. Remember your name. My name is Tuesday. Haha! <laughs> you know your own name. Joke's on you, bitch. That's not my name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. It's a twig. Take a closer. Correction. Several twigs. That definitely looks hairy enough to be Steve. That's not me! Ah, class building. And because I'm hardcore, deprived. Because let's face it, this game's fucking hard. So, if you're going to do it, do it the fucking stupid way. Show face at me, you wanker! <laughs> See? They find me hilarious. Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. Actually, helpful piece of advice. Oh, oh, dick move game. Dick move. <laughs> Something outside's just gone ape shit. Naked guy. Oh. 
So yeah, treasure chest up there. Oh! Capped 22 for anyone that wants a particular challenge run. Those odd ladies. If you kill them, they will drop you nine human effigies. The catch is, you find an item later in the game that lets you basically respec. You get all your souls from your levels back. You have to take it to them to use it. So if you kill them, you can't respec. And also the new tip. The deprived starts out naked, still has his clothes from before. Not very good, but at least it's something. And if you got the life ring as a gift, don't forget to equip that too. Or any gift that you equip. Fucking break! There we go. Oh yeah, I'll show all that tutorial crap later. For now, hub town and more item searching. The next video won't be like this, I promise. I'll do it live! You see the messages starting to appear now. Because yes, I'm online with this. I'm online on the Xbox 360. So, if anyone sort of has tactics or knows how to get the like partner specific co-op working, drop me a message. You might be on a video. Lucky you! And me, please help. Please God help. One benefit about this equipment run thing is you can actually do it all before you've even got into a fight. Which is a very fucking useful thing to bear in mind because if you start as deprived like I am, you've got nothing. You won't think to go in there because you don't want to die, but then you get there, no fight, shield. That sets you up nicely. Cut out of the hole. There's another item up here. And fuck that statue in particular. For those of you that want to join the Covenants, that is the one that makes the game harder. And you fucking see it right at the beginning. There's another chest up here, I believe. I don't know why I'm fucking saying it like I'm not sure. I've already done this. God damn it. Studio Merc needs work. Ha! Huh. Shit joke. Duck it! Yay! Give me another drink. Oh yeah, there's another item next to the blacksmith shop. And for new people, particularly me, this guy, talk to him a lot. And then he offers to let you into a covenant, which is, if you get invaded by an enemy player, you can also summon backup. Basically, if you're scared of someone jumping into your game and having you, get someone else to jump into your game and have them. The Covenant Ring for that one also gives you a bit of HP, which is always good. Oh, 
that is a wise I'm sorry if it's bleeding through on the audio, but my dog's power. going a bit ape shit. But the blue Bells on fire button. Over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their Shut up, Marty, bastard. Apparently all of the NPCs in this town drop something quite good if you kill them. But the downside to killing them is Are you, you the then get like a tombstone. Which, Bearer every time you want to talk to them, it costs you fuck knows side. how many souls. Which is a pain in the arse if you kill the level up person. Because you get the equivalent of infinite journey. homeward bone. But you can't fucking level Go up. Unless you spend a load of souls to talk to her, which takes away from the souls you used to fucking level up! And also, now I've said that, don't run forward and kill her, because at some point in the game she gives it you anyway. She gave me my health flask, and I give her the shit I found before the health flask to make my health flask better! Yay! Bowing. Like the bonfire? I think this is the bit where I put on all the shit that I've found so far. So yeah, that's something to look at. Not had a single fight. I've already got this gear. Stocked up. And now, let's actually get some fucking fighting done. The fuck am I doing here? I can't remember my own edited video! Ah, there we go. Yeah, the mist doors here aren't really too bad because it's tutorial land. If you see them in, like, the other areas, it generally means boss fight. So take the slack! Take the slack! Yeah, in relation to what I was saying pretty much at the start of the video. Only allowed to grind on things I've killed in natural episode. Roughly translated, that means those three guys there, I can now off camera go and kill those three until they stop respawning. That would get me the souls I need to level up. However, by rules of the series, I am not allowed to kill that Cyclops off camera because I only ran past it and got hit by it and cried a little bit. Knife! So there you go. One star ticket. One thing you should bear in mind is um, I don't know whether only certain weapons can do it or whether it's been taken out completely. The good old fashioned parry and then attack for a fuckload of damage. It's not actually in this that I've seen. You can still do backstabs, which is handy, but can't do reposts. Potential ball lake for future bosses. That's the nest. Kick that ladder. Shortcut. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is what I mean. In your inventory, the stone, and you leave it 
You leave it on the ground. You do not use it because you get a little bit of health back. But for the shit you can get from this nest, just all of the smooth and silky stones go in there. You can also do a petrified stone as well, which you can you you can get as one of the starting gifts. But it's a gamble on that because the rewards you get are random. There's three types of stone, each type of stone has a different set of items, but it's not you give a petrified stone, you get this really fucking good weapon. It could be you give a petrified stone and you get a bit of a health. Ah, that's me completely fucking up a parry. Felt bad, I'd only been hit by one thing and I was unarmed. I let him do it. Jumping controls are changed. Can't change that in the options are. So if you're a Dark Souls 1 fanatic, there you go. I can't believe Nathan didn't know he could dash up and down ladders. Plunging attack! Some of the fucking falls on this take way too much health off you. Secret door in there. I say secret. Crack dread eye orb. We now have the potential to dig move someone. Cracked red eye stones are the invasion items. Appear in another game. Fuck this shit up. I don't actually know what the rewards are there, but it works. Fuck that tray in particular. Ow. That's another one dead. Fucking hell, I've only got 400 and something souls. Grinding in the early stages takes the piss. Yay. Sorry, I'm starting to think I made a considerable mistake with the format of this first episode. Oh, get better! This is shortcut! And now all the areas are linked nicely. Back to the hometown. Oh yeah, shit. Should have used them earlier. Bearer of the curse. Souls. Larger, more powerful souls. I mean. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole. As it has. What do you think, bitch? Not even leveled up yet, she's already telling me to kill bosses. Cowbag. Yeah, I feel I should warn you guys. I'm like... Usually I like dual wielding, but this game makes that very fucking difficult. So, sword and shield. I'm a melee type of guy. Nothing against magic, it's just not the way I play. Although saying that, this is a series for you. You have a degree of creative control. Leave in the comments what shit you want to happen. And then shit happens. Sort out my last bit of gear and leave you with these closing words. If you want to get involved in the series, Basically, just leave comments on the video. Get involved, 
have you say if there's anything you want to see me try. Let us know. See you later.